Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kat Pengelly, also known uh, to the industry as the Nerdy Hotelier. Um, I decided that I wanted to start a series that I'm calling the Future of Hospitality uh, with the Nerdy Hotelier, where I aim to speak with upcoming industry professionals in the hospitality industry. Uh, today, I'm delighted to welcome Saba Mehta, uh, who's calling in from India. I'll let her introduce herself in just a few moments when we get into the questions, but uh, welcome Saba, happy to have you here. Hi, hi, Kat. Thank you so much for having me. It's really, I'm really excited to do this. And it's really a pleasure to be here answering your questions and, you know, getting to know each other a little bit through this video. So thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, just because we're going to be sharing this video on social channels, um, being conscious of everybody's time, I think it's best if we just jump right into the questions and get to the uh, nitty gritty stuff that we really want to talk about today. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about uh, yourself and who you are? So I'm actually a third year uh, hospitality school student. I'm studying in La Roche Hospitality, uh, Global Hospitality Education in Switzerland. And I've been here for about two and a half years. I have uh, another half year left and then I'm going to graduate. And I'm currently based in India with, uh, I just came back actually just this week. So I'm really uh, glad to be home, but I miss, I'm obviously missing Switzerland. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about my background, so like I said, I've been uh, with La Roche for three, almost two years now, and I did one internship with them uh, in Ritz-Carlton, Sanya Longa in Portugal, where I was a food and beverage assistant, where I was uh, serving guests, you know, building guest relationships and uh, working in the restaurant of, of one of the restaurants of the property, uh, really uh, learning the working of the operations of that restaurant, how, you know, we do inventory and things like that, just getting an overall understanding. Uh, of the restaurant, of how generally the operations work in a restaurant. Um, and prior to that, I had one internship before I joined the Rush, which was in food and beverage, uh, sorry, not food and beverage, in pastry kitchen and finance. So I have a little bit of everything. So I, you could say I'm a jack of all trades, uh, you Love know, that. I humbly add that. <laughs> but uh, that's a little bit about my professional background um, and my school life. Amazing. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. Um, can, why did you want to do this video with me? <laughs> well, to be honest, in today's day and age where networking is such an important uh, part of one's career growth, where, you know, meeting the right people is as important as putting in hard work and effort to reach those people. I think that this is a very good way to uh, kind of introduce myself to people that otherwise might not have been able to reach me through your network and through my network. And just, you know, put myself out there to kind of give an understanding of who I am, of what my interests are professionally as well as personally a little bit. And just kind of make people understand this is what I'm about. This is why I am doing what I am doing. And, you know, to just introduce myself to the world, basically, and get a better outreach to whoever I can through your, through your network, as well as whoever new decides to reach out to me through mine. So Amazing. just a little bit of outreach, yeah. Yeah, good. And, you know, and, and as you said, in this day and age, right, um, you know, technology is a really big thing. Lots of people are getting into videos and, you know, getting excited about showcasing themselves to the world differently. So great. Happy to have you exactly. here. Obviously, we're in the hospitality industry. So what do you love about the hospitality industry? Well, I love a lot of a lot of things about the hospitality industry, but the most amazing thing about it is the interaction that we have with people, both within our workspace as well as with customer interaction. And the thing about customer interaction is that you can make a customer's experience great by being in whatever role that you are in, within a hotel, within a corporate office, within any kind of role really in hospitality, because the whole goal of all of these establishments is to make the perfect customer experience. And you can do that through any kind of role and the versatileness or the versatility or the, um, you know, the dynamism of hospitality is what I love most about it, that you can be anyone, you can find any, anything you're good at, anyone can find something they're good at in hospitality and grow and make themselves, um, you know, make, find something that's worth something to them through hospitality. And it also allows you to go into many other things post that or to find other things with which you can, you know, do transfer 
skills and give you a lot of outreach there in different parts of the industry. Lovely, lovely. I love what you said that hospitality, you know, opens up a lot of opportunities for you, which it does, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of different areas of hospitality. It's a very diverse industry. Um, And I love that you said, you know, you can find your place, you can find the role that fits best for you. So so that's great. Amazing. Um, So what are you passionate about outside of hospitality outside of a a working life? (laughs) Well, many things actually. Uh, for example, right now I am reading Game of Thrones. I'm a very big Game of Thrones fan. Love I will that. not get into uh, my feelings about how the show ended because you know <laughs> everyone has their own feelings about that. Um, but yeah, I actually always I was uh, telling you earlier that I always keep a few books on hand, so I'm reading these two books right now, and I'm learning a little bit of French. So it's good to have a, a you know practice book with me. I love learning languages. That's something that I like doing outside of my. Uh, of my you know uh, busy time and I watch anime that's uh, you know I love watching anime that's a little bit uh, of myself outside of hospitality there's just a lot of a lot of information out there to learn so just always trying to get something new in my head yeah I love that and you know I love that you mentioned anime because a lot of people feel (laughs) really weird to admit that they're a fan of anime but I also, yeah. as we discussed earlier, love <laughs> anime and I'm very proud of it. I have no shame in it. I tell absolutely everyone because um, it's, 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 yeah, it's just so, so great. And uh, only so, the funniest, exactly. Only the funniest personalities really like anime. You have yes. to be an amazing person to love anime. So I love, I love that. That's I what think. I'm going to tell people. That's a, only amazing <laughs> people like us. <laughs> <laughs> I love exactly. that. I love that. Amazing. Okay, so what is one thing that you truly want to accomplish in 2021? Well, like I mentioned earlier, I'm really looking forward to graduating. Finally, it's been a long two and a half years, and I'm really going to miss Narosh a lot. But I want to start my career. I want to prepare to the next, uh, you know, step. I want to be able to see what I have, what 2021 has in store for me, and definitely graduating with a lot of my friends is something um you know that i'm looking forward to i'm very excited about hopefully in switzerland and not online but either way it's it's an exciting time yeah awesome awesome good to hear so because you're graduating then um, i'm assuming you're looking for a role at the moment um so um if you are looking for a role um what role and uh, whereabouts in the world would you like to get one (laughs) so really i'm looking anywhere uh, I'm looking for a role anywhere and the kind of role that I'm looking in, well, sorry, looking for is a customer engagement role. So I'm looking more within uh, either B2B roles where I can be in a customer engagement role where I'm working in, for example, a tech company and I get to be in the customer support or customer success uh, team where I get to engage in both the technical side of the industry where I'm learning about the tech of that company or I'm uh, in, uh, sorry, as well as in the um art where I get to communicate with and solve problems of the uh, uh, client. So that would be the business to business side of things. Um, I would also, I'm also looking for roles outside of hospitality because unfortunately we're in a time where the, the industry is not hiring as proactively as it would be, which I'm sure is going to change a few years down the line. But up until I can come back into a role that interests me within the industry, I'm also looking for other B2B roles outside where my, where my um, skills that I can transfer from what I've learned in university are valid and valuable in another role as well. For example, um, there are these set of companies called Export Networks, where you get to uh, fill the knowledge gap for financial sector companies using experts out there in the field who are, uh, you know, doing exactly what they uh, need questions to be answered for. And Export Network companies fill that gap. So that's one of the uh, roles, one of the com- kind of companies I'm looking at as well. And their analyst roles or their associate roles are where I'm looking for. And really, uh, for location, I'm looking at uh, well, like I said, I'm based in India, but because I have um, a possibility of working in Switzerland, at least finding an internship in Switzerland, I'm also looking at the country and anywhere in Europe, really, where um, I can practice French, where I can, you know, make that uh, make that more fluent and Middle East as well. And these are my preferences, but really I'm open to working anywhere because the place is not as much as of importance to me as the experience I will get with the team that I'm working with. So it's the people obviously that matter to me more than the place. So really I'm looking forward to finding something anywhere in one of these fields. 
Amazing. Amazing. Well, that's great to hear, you know, and I appreciate the fact that you said that, you know, you'd love to get a role in hospitality, but unfortunately, it's not the best time uh, to be looking for a role. So, so, you know, it it is sad that we do have to look outside the industry, but I am also happy Mm -hmm. to hear that you said, you know, that you'll keep an eye on the industry and in a few years time, if you can make it back, uh, if you don't get a role in hospitality, of course, this time around, uh, it's somewhere that your heart lies and you will like to come back here. So percent yeah 100%. amazing it's all about it's all about client engagement for me just helping people solve problems and you know providing good service is what's important to me and whether I'm doing that within the industry or not for now obviously is not the biggest priority so depending on how I can bring myself back in and when I can bring myself back in it'll probably be a few years from now uh, or you know let's see where that takes me but for now, this is my, this is my goal. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And I'm happy to hear that, you know, you're open for opportunities and that's the thing too, is um, a, a lot of people in the hospitality industry who are amazingly passionate about the industry don't want to leave it. Um, but you know, the experience that you can gain mm-hmm. from taking a step out of the industry, even periodically can be hugely beneficial to your growth and your development uh, for when you come back into exactly. the industry as well. So, so great. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Well, is there anything else that you would like to say about yourself that we didn't cover um i know you're looking for an internship this summer um but of course that will kind of tie into getting a role um but is there anything else uh, that, that you wanted to mention that we might not have covered um not that i can think of i'm sure that whoever i speak to post this video or you know whoever i i am able to reach out to whoever this v- brings me uh, you know brings to me because of this video um, I'm sure that they will have more questions, but for now, this is all I can think of. Maybe one thing that I could mention is that the role that I'm looking for is an internship. However, because I'm graduating in July, I'm also open to a uh, full-time working role. So it, uh, it's something that's possible to me, uh, possible for me. Sorry, my English is all over the place today. <laughs> that's okay. Um, it's the pressure it's of the video. <laughs> It really, it really is. I get nervous doing recordings anyway, and it's something worth mentioning. I guess that's one thing I could mention about myself, that I get nervous doing videos a little bit. Um, But yeah, just that the role that I'm looking for could be a job or an internship, uh, just that the first six months of the the role would tie in with my university as an internship for me to uh, formally receive my degree, which is just a formality. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm open to anything. Amazing. Amazing. And if people did want to contact you um, after seeing this video, where's the best place to find you? Would that be LinkedIn? I would say LinkedIn. I'm pretty, uh, pretty socially active on LinkedIn. I might not post too much of, uh, of stuff on LinkedIn, but I answer my messages in almost immediately. Even email is somewhere I can look, which I'm sure you'll attach with uh, when you post this video. Um, but yeah, LinkedIn, Facebook, email, really wherever I'm, I'm there. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Well, great. Thank you so much, Saba, for your time. I really appreciate you being on the video and I hope it becomes something that will be beneficial to you. And hopefully you'll be able to use this tool um, as a way to build your network in and outside the hospitality industry. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And thank you for asking me to do this with you. It was really, I'm really grateful that you asked me because this is such a good opportunity. And I wish you good luck with the with the continuation of the series. I'm sure that it's going to go really well. It's clearly going to be successful. And it's so good that you're doing this for people who are just starting out. I'm sure it's going to be very helpful to everyone that you do this with. So good luck and thank you so much. Good. Awesome. Thank you, Saba. And uh, on that note, as you are my first guest on, on this show or series or whatever I'm going to end up calling it, um, if you're watching this video and you're a new professional or a young professional, or even if you just want to be able to showcase yourself in a different light and you know aren't comfortable filming yourself on video or writing content for LinkedIn, uh, please feel free to reach out to me um, on LinkedIn or via email, which is available on my LinkedIn profile. Um, I'm very very happy to do this for as many people as I can fit into my schedule. So feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to do this video with you as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Saba, again, and I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thank you.